All right, guys. Uh, so the other day I bought the chair on the left and it turned out the seat was just way too low to reach my desk. And I felt like I was on the floor when I was sitting at my desk with it. So I'm going to return that one to Bed Bath & Beyond. And then I went on Amazon to find a chair that can extend much higher up for higher countertops. Um, like uh, for even like uh, islands, kitchen islands, and uh, for just taller desks in general. And it was very hard to find a chair that fit that um, description. And I searched uh, amongst thousands of listings on Amazon and I could not find anything under the hundred dollar range. Um, now this chair on the right is called a drafting chair and by the way it has my ass cushion on it that I bought from Amazon. You can see it in the uh, other video that I did and this one was made by Office Star and uh, the seat can extend up to I think 33 and a half inches but let me show you how high it can extend and it has a little oops I'm tripping over the box it has a little thing here and <laughs> look at that now. All right, we're going to back up if I don't trip over the box again. And look how much higher that seat is than the regular task chair on the left. I mean, that is pretty, pretty cool. All right, so uh, let me just show you the box for it. And there we go. It's Office Star brand. That's the model. And I'll put a link in it in the description below. I only paid $88 for it. And most of these chairs are really, they're really called drafting chairs. And they cost anywhere, as I noticed, they're selling them for like $180 and up into the two three hundred dollar range and I was lucky to find that for eighty eight dollars um I mean it's nothing fancy but it really actually um is great because of the hydraulic seat that can be you know uh, raised up much higher than say a regular task chair look at the difference there you go so uh this is the lousy instructions it came with by the way just one sheet of paper and something it looks like a engineering major uh, would have trouble putting together and it just came with a few sentences on how to put it together. And what happened was, was in these directions, it did not explain where to put the footrest. It didn't even explain to even add the footrest on. So um, by accident, I put it on upside down. And then once you put the hydraulic into the base, here's the hydraulics right there. It's like a gas cylinder. Once you get that in there, there's no getting it out. You can't pull it out. You can't pry it out. It's just in there and you need tools. So I was screwed. And so what I did was I, uh, I went on um, good old YouTube and I found, actually let me get the box out of the way. I went on good old YouTube and I found a video of somebody showing you how to take one of these chairs apart. And uh, all you need is like uh, three things. One of three things you can try. One was a rubber mallet, the other was a pipe wrench and the other was a basic hammer. And the hammer trick worked. And I was able to take the hydraulic uh, base off the wheels and flip over the little ring on the bottom. Now, if you buy this chair, the messed up part is they also don't tell you this foot ring here. It comes, uh, you know, with this piece here. Inside there is a piece of cardboard. And they didn't even mention the foot ring in the directions. But what they also didn't mention was that you had to take the cardboard ring out of this piece. Otherwise... The footrest will keep slipping down. By the way, this is adjustable. You can make it higher or lower. Like this goes up and down. This little cylinder thing here. And uh, so my husband, thankfully, helped me take this chair apart and place the foot ring on correctly. So I'm going to show you the details of the chair. Let me take the ass cushion off and we'll put it onto the other chair. And by the way, it's uh, comfortable even without the ass cushion. And uh, so it's made out of vinyl and it's wipeable. That's a good thing. And it only came in black from what I saw. Let's turn it around. And uh, the back is adjustable also. You can make it higher or lower, which is a, a beautiful feature as well. Has these uh, really nifty wheels on it. And they also have a thing that you can buy for under $10. And uh, instead, if you don't want the wheels on it, you can get a... Uh, extended little feet that stick right into the spot and uh, you can get that instead of you know putting these wheels in if you want it to be more steady so there you go so this one's going back as you can see look how low the seat is let's spin this around and show you side by side how ridiculously low the seat is on it compared to the chair that I got 
And now this is at the highest uh, height, but it can be adjusted down, which is great. So I'm going to put a link in the description below if you want to buy such a chair, which is very comfortable and very sturdy. By the way, it weighs 29 pounds, which is outrageous. Um, you can buy it yourself. All right, guys. So long. Take care. And thank you so much for watching.